what's going on everybody I'm coming at you as always from Central Florida I tried to make a harvest video this morning but since I'm just using my phone it's really difficult and it just doesn't come out really uh, presentable so I figured I'd just lay everything out and share with you what I was able to just harvest it's a very plentiful harvest a, a lot of food right here um, we got some patty pan squash. I mean, these are some big patty pan squash. That's two or three pounds, both of those there, which they'll still be tender. People say they have to be picked small like this, which that's when they are the most tender, but I'll make plenty of food with that. That'll be absolutely delicious. And I got this really nice zucchini. This is the zucchini that I cross pollinated uh, just, just the other day in a, um, a cross pollination video. And I used uh, patty pan male flower to pollinate the female flower of the zucchini. And that's what we got right there. Um, I'm really impressed with all those plants. It's only been about two weeks since I made the first squash update. And they were relatively small. And now these plants are absolutely gigantic. And here's some pickling cucumbers that I was able to pick this morning. That one probably went a little too long. But I'm going to make pickle spears this afternoon I'm really excited about these I got a mess load of collards that's a lot of collards right there and uh, Brussels sprout greens because I will cook those all together and that'll be really really delicious of course if I'm out here picking I need to pick some broccoli I've got most of the turnips out of the ground those are some really nice turnips there here's some potatoes that uh, I actually picked a couple days ago and had them out here in the shade curing but they're ready to go inside and just some really nice peppers look at that bell pepper and these poblanos I got some jalapenos serranos the first orange habanero of the season tell me that's not the most beautiful habanero that you've ever seen it's absolutely gorgeous Trinidad Maruga we got some banana peppers and I picked some of my snow peas so if I would have gone to a Trader Joe's or something like that to find all this specialty stuff and organically grown, this would have cost me a fortune. And it's literally cost me just a couple dollars to grow all this food, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll get back at you soon. Have a great day.